one action news this is chase the crown and happening right now you're looking live at kaufman stadium where we are just about two and a half hours away from game one of the american league division series tonight the houston astros in town to face our beloved royals and my co-anchor krista DeBille got the fun assignment today She's already live at Kauffman Stadium where the excitement is building, Krista. Yeah, you know, darn it, I got this tough assignment. I'm out here at the K on this beautiful, gorgeous fall day in Kansas City where you can see people are just now starting to line up at the gates. The gates to the stadium don't open until 4.30, so they have a little bit more time to wait. And I can tell you, as uh, having covered postseason last year, there's a different feel today. It's, it, it doesn't have quite the, like, this is the postseason feel. And I've heard that from staff, from attendants working the parking lots, to people that are out here celebrating, but nonetheless, every Everyone out here wants a win tonight. Uh, Frank Bull is down on the field to talk about the game for tonight. Frank wants the latest from there. Well, here's the deal, and I, I agree with you, Chris, and I think uh, Sam Mellinger from the Kansas City Star, the fine columnist over there, will agree with me as well. She, as Chris had just said it, there is a different feel to this postseason, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think last year a lot of people just thought this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and at that time it really was, you know. And this year, I think people know what it feels like. Uh, you've been through it once before. I mean, the, the are you talking? And, and the clubhouse and the fans, yeah, I think, are, right. are kind of on the same wavelength there. Last year, the, like the clubhouse was just sort of on this like wild ride where it was just sort of I like, blacked out what happened you know what I mean and uh, the fans were the same way and this year there's just more of a expectation I think yeah yeah and they how do you think they're gonna handle the expectation they seem fine yeah I, I think they're a really laid-back group when they're not playing and when they are playing I think they're super high energy um, they haven't been phased by a big moment now since like last August you know they kind of had a breakthrough there and have just been running with it since I mean they, there was a lot of people that thought um, you know, they'd struggle at the beginning of this year, and then they came out and won their first seven games and kind of lapped the Central Division. I mean, it, they haven't been phased in a really long time. If you're worried about one thing with this baseball team, what is it? I mean, you never know about the starting pitching. Um, I, I think that would be the thing. Um, you know, Cueto has obviously had his struggles. Ventura's pitching the best that he's pitched in his life, I think, but he does have a history. I mean, he was demoted two months ago, right? But, um, you know, one thing to think about is in the playoffs, uh, the starting pitching matters less than it does in the regular season just because you can pitch a bullpen more. But, um, you know, that would be the thing for me. All right, Sam Melliger, NC Star. Columnist, thanks, pal. We've seen you on one of our Sunday sound offs, too. Right, to hold right, you to that. Okay, I'll get send it back out to you, Chris. Uh, it, there is a different feel about it. There, you know, there's seats available yeah. for tonight's game, which is unusual in its own right. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Frank. And it's, it is just a different feel, and fans will tell you that. There's not quite that excitement from last year. I said you watched it. You haven't been here to report on this, but you got out here early with some fans today. I did, I did, and I'm super excited to be at Kauffman Stadium for the very first time, and I know a lot of fans are also excited to be here as well. They first started coming in at 1.30 this afternoon, right when the gates opened up. They were barbecuing and cheering and, of course, preparing to watch the boys boys in blue and guess who else is back tonight the one and only moose I don't think they need that much luck because they're pretty good but just in case the moose is going to be here and of course let's hope that moose brings the team some extra luck tonight now of course Chris and I are wearing our blue and we want to see yours so tweet us your pictures in blue you can tweet us at the now KC and to 41 action news I love it well we're excited for you to be out here Ariel Rothfeld she's been with us for a couple of months now we're excited to have you here for this uh, coverage of the postseason we hope there are good things happening we've got tonight's game starting at 635 uh, uh, this evening we've got tomorrow's game starting at about 2 35 I think it is and then on Sunday of course they're in Houston Houston, uh, that game time happening down there going to game three. We really need to win one here because uh, Sunday is going to be a tough game down in Houston. Uh, Justin, I know that uh, you're a huge Royals fan, and I'm so sorry that you didn't get to be out here today to celebrate the best team in the state of Missouri. <laughs> Uh, you're leaving me speechless, Krista. I'll just leave it at that. I am a big Royals fan. Got the Royals socks on today. I mean, come on. I'm ready to go. All right. Do your Cardinals <laughs> friends know this? <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't. We'll talk to you again in just a bit. We do want to check traffic for.